right, ladies and gentlemen, we have a breaking story right now. Activision confirms recent news with Call of Duty's Ricochet anti-cheat on potential exploits causing bans for players who weren't even cheating. The players affected have been unbanned and the exploit has been fixed, allegedly. Call of Duty updates tweets out, Ricochet anti-cheat identified and disabled with a workaround to detection system in Modern Warfare 3 and Call of Duty Warzone that impacted a small number of legitimate player accounts. We have restored all counts that were impacted, and an examination of our systems was conducted for safety and monitoring will continue. Stay tuned for a Road to Launch Progress report blog from Team Ricochet, coming tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. The comments from the community on this shit is crazy. We have Hacker Hunters, popular Warzone streamers, and professional COD players. Everybody's in the mix talking about it. Even the cheaters are talking about the situation unfolding on Twitter right now. Okay, so I'm pretty sure most of you guys watching have already seen videos regarding the topic. But for those of you who haven't heard, hackers went on Twitter revealing that using a workaround in Ricochet's anti-cheat system, it allowed them to falsely ban innocent players, including pro players and streamers like Parasite, Doug Sensor Martin, Nuke Jesus, and Bobby Poff, using an auto hotkey script to remotely permaban players. Now everybody's calling into question Activision's competency and what the fuck those guys are doing over there. But Activision did respond promptly to the news, patching the exploit and unbanning the aforementioned persons. But that brings me to my first question. They said a few player accounts were affected, then reinstated. But Zeebler, the guy who originally broke the story, was adamant on the detail of random players being banned to the tune of thousands since the discovery of this exploit in early 2024. Now, those people haven't seen their player accounts reinstated at all. And the question is, will that ever even fucking happen? Although I'm pretty sure Activision at this point, their PR team is like, oh, we don't even want to broach that topic, bro. Like, how the fuck are they going to confirm whether or not the person was banned using this exploit or not prior to this week or really just the last couple of days? Like, that's going to be impossible to do, bro, man. I, that leaves out. I mean, potentially that I don't even know. Like, they didn't disclose specifically like what number or close to what number the, the estimation is on that. Um, but I mean, I, and I guess the guy was just sitting there doing it at random to random people for whatever reason. I mean, bro, I mean, it's, it's just like, it's absolutely fucking ridiculous. And I think a bigger question is how many other simple exploits are there lingering within the system that Ricochet is not even remotely aware of? I mean, the fact that they were alerted to this breach by a cheat developer speaks fucking volumes. Oh, yeah. And just to let you guys know, I saw the progress report and that shit was good and all. But man, fuck those people. Like, I'm, I don't give a fuck about I'm not going to give them any fucking credit. That should have been how effective Ricochet's anti cheat should have been since its implementation, bro. Like it should have been way, way closer to where it is now back when it first released. I don't give a fuck about any of that. So they're not getting any credit from me until I really see some massive improvements um, with virtually, virtually no cheaters. Now, not, not to say that there are no cheaters in the game, but it's it should be so hard to tell that a guy is fucking cheating in a game. I'm going to let you I'm going to drop the links uh, to all the articles and shit like that in the description. So you guys can go ahead and check those out yourselves. I do not care. I'm not going to read that shit at all. You know what I'm saying? It was very lengthy. Um, I took a read to it. Uh, you know, I mean, I think it's subpar me personally. But hey, man, you guys have your own opinions about that. You guys can come to your own conclusions. I mean, there isn't really much else to talk about, man. Um, I, I guess that the thing is that uh, I, my question is, why decide to reveal this now? I think that the cheaters have something in store for us or Ricochet that they're just not going to be prepared for. Not at all. Um, and like literally the the Black Ops 6 release is looming. And so is something else. Like something is in... Something's in the works in the background in the cheating community because uh, I don't think that other guy would have even disclosed that information if they didn't have something else that they were working on or that something that they have already found out. And uh, that, that's why I think that they got released like that because the dude was saying something along the lines of, oh, he does not represent the most of the cheaters and all that other shit. And it's like, man, fuck you, bro. Like, we don't care about that shit, man. We just don't. Fuck all the cheaters in Call of Duty, not just him. You too, buddy. You too. But that's going to be it for the video, man. This was a short one. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, subscribe to the I don't really care if you guys subscribe to the channel. But hit that like if you guys did enjoy. 
it helps the channel it helps the channel grow it helps the channel get pushed out to more people like you with that being said it's been your boy the furious j and i'm out later